Hi everyone, as a woman of a certain age, I find myself increasingly drawn to articles about the M word, that's right, menopause. Particularly a recent one that said calcium and vitamin D supplements are not that beneficial for postmenopausal women. Well, given the fact that there are so many ads purporting the health benefits of these supplements, I decided I needed to find out more. So I went to Dr. Becky Brightman, an OBGYN here in New York, to find out. I think the study drives home the point that we've known for a long time is that estrogen really plays a role in terms of helping to deposit calcium into bone. So after menopause, women stop making estrogen and as a result, they stop making bone and their bone mass really rapidly starts to decline. What if you're on hormone replacement therapy or getting estrogen from another source? Does the calcium and vitamin D work better then? Oh, absolutely. And the closer a woman is to actually going through menopause, the more efficiently she will start to reabsorb the calcium. And vitamin D actually helps in the re reabsorption of calcium. So the keys to keeping your bones strong are exercise and a calcium rich diet when your body's producing estrogen at an early age. So you're in good shape when menopause starts, right? Absolutely. So what kind of exercise, Becky? Um, exercises that really build up particularly the upper body, anything that involves the use of weights, um, push-ups, yoga. You can also use small hand Absol weights if you wanted. Absolutely, wanted. repetitively. Oh, I'm sorry, which way to the hand weights? Okay, sorry. Oh my goodness, <laughs> but I think that it's really, really important. And also calcium really needs to be part of a young woman's routine. You know, whether or not they get it through uh, three dairy servings. And vegetables, And right? vegetables. We, like? Broccoli, kale, three other green leafy vegetables. There are many ways in which one can have adequate calcium and help maximize their bone mass before they go into menopause and start a decline. And by the way, Dr. Brightman recommends a baseline bone density test for women over 50 or anyone who happens to be going through menopause. Insurance plans do provide coverage for this, but it may vary, so check with your provider and of course, talk with your doctor about all of these things. I'll see you next week and of course for the debut of my new talk show, Katie, on September 10th. See you later.